They went for a routine ultrasound, excited to find out if we were having a boy or a girl, and instead we found out that Mason was missing half of his diaphragm. His organs had herniated into his chest. He was given a 50% chance of making it if he even made it to birth. Mason was not doing well. Uh, we were ready to lose him, and he was going to go on heart-lung bypass. And Dr. Stephen sat there so patiently and was explaining to me what the monitors were saying. And they had doctors that were assigned just to Mason for 24 hours watching his stats. We could have lost him more than once, and the surgeries he's had have been pretty big surgeries. And and he's such a resilient kid and he's so happy and that's not, I don't think that's typical. A lot of kids go through this and it changes them. And you know, Mason has not lost his spirit. He's, he's so happy all the time and you know, he doesn't fear doctors. How does a kid like him who's had 11 surgeries and been over 100 days in the hospital and he still loves them and wants to see them and gets excited when he sees them. And so for me, I think they're definitely doing something right and I send them pictures and emails and I want them to know, you know, look what he's doing and to say thank you and show our love and our forever, you know, the gratitude and the, the emotion we have for them will just never go away. So I think that, you know, constantly reminding them and showing them how great he's doing is just probably the best thing we can do. Thank you.